Why did I do that? Because when I went, I'm going to answer these probability questions. And if you look at this question over here, what's the likelihood of having no girls? What does having girls mean? Zero what? girls. True? How many outcomes consist of having zero girls? To one, the BBB outcome. Is that right? How many outcomes again? Just one. So the answer is one over how many outcomes are in that sample space? Count them. How many do you see? So the answer is what? One eighth. It's one eighth. You guys okay with that? Go to the next event. You're having now what? One girl. How many outcomes in the sample space again? Eight. How many outcomes consist of having exactly one girl? How many? The BBG, the BGB, and the GBB. How many of them? Three outcomes. So this likelihood is three over what? Eight. See what I'm saying? And how many outcomes consist of having exactly two girls? Three. So this also is what? For eight. All girls. What does it mean to have all girls when you have three children? What does that mean? Well, you say, all girls is the question? Huh. Where's, where do you have all girls at? Not here. This is all boys. Oh. G, G, G. Having all girls is the same as having girls. So how many outcomes consist of having all girls? One. So it's also one over eight. How many guys so far? Oh, then we should just give you guys the test now and go home, right? <laughs> no? At least two. Oh, no, at least one. Sorry. At least one girl. How many outcomes consist of, consist of having at least one? How many girls do you have for this outcome? Zero. How many do you have for this outcome? One. Two. One. Two. Three. So how many outcomes consist of having at least one girl? How many outcomes? Remember, there's only eight outcomes here. What? Seven that consist of having at least one girl. So the likelihood is seven over what? Eight. Do you guys okay with that? Seven over eight. Now notice this. If you're somebody who says, you know what, I want to have daughters. When you have three children, the likelihood is what? Seven over eight that you'd have at least one daughter. They're not asking you what's the likelihood of having exactly one. They're saying it's one. It means one or more. Okay? At least two. What does at least two mean? You have two or more. At least one is two or more. So which outcomes consist of having at least two girls? Which outcomes? This one? This one? This one and this one. These out here. Is that right? How many? Okay. Let's reduce one half. Less than two. What does less than two mean? One or less, or you can say none or one, right? How many outcomes? How many? No more than two. No more than two. What does no more than mean? What does no more than two? If I say, actually, this is a true story. You can have no more than two outfits from limit. No more than two. What does that mean? Two or less. Two is the Map cannot have more than two. You can have less. You can have exactly two, but you can't have what? No more than two. See what I mean? So it's the odds associated with having no girls, one girl, or two girls. Is that right? Which outcome are that? The zero, one, the one, the two, the one, 
The two, two? How many outcomes are they? Is that tricky? Is that tricky, the language? Remember we said getting? I said, oh, that language. The language, because the language from people where it gets, it's not that hard to do. What we're doing isn't that difficult. We're just getting used to some of the language, because language is something that is hard if you don't use that, those word phrases. If you don't, then it's hard to know or remember what they are. So do a few things. Start to use them. Start to use them, you know. Um, again, the multimedia lesson, I have a lot of this there, even the language part. You know, because again, I already used in the beginning for experience. This is where people kind of have a little trouble with these details. Okay? So no more than two means just that. Two is X. Start to use the language. Moshi, does anybody ever tell you, like, you can have no more than two cookies before dinner? No? <coughs> or you can have as many cookies as you want? Yeah, you can't have a lot of cookies before dinner. Right? Okay, you guys okay with this? You sure? Anybody have any questions? How do what? Be careful, not pairs. They're really not pairs. Pairs are two, right? How do you get the outcomes? Okay, let's go over that. See this here? We have one child at a time, and we're going to get all possible outcomes associated with having three children. So. You're going to start here for your first child, right? For your first child, you have two options, a boy or a girl. Do you agree with me on that? OK. Now, you're going to have the next child. Think about this. If you have the next child, what sexes can you possibly have for your second child? A boy or a girl again, right? If your first was a boy, then the second is either a boy or a girl. Is that true? The sex second child is not dependent on the sex of the first child. It's not that you had a boy last and then you're going to have a girl. No. Those events are independent. What you have first has no effect on what you have what? Second. Is that true? So if your first child was a boy, for the second child, you can have a boy or a what? Girl. If the first child was a girl, isn't it also true that you can have a boy or a girl for that second child? Is that true? Is that? Now we're going to do the what? The third child. The sex of the third child is independent of the sex of the prior two. It doesn't matter what the prior two children were in terms of their sex. Having that third child means, again, you can have either a boy or a what? Girl. You okay with that? So, from the second child outcomes here. From the second child outcomes. For the third child, you get a boy or a girl. Boy or girl. Boy or girl. Boy or girl. If follow the branches. Think of this as fruit. That's why they call it a tree diagram. It's on its side. Follow the branches. You generate every possible outcome. B, B, B. Here they are. B, B, G. See what I'm saying? B, G, B. B, G, B. And do the same.